Hey guys, this is Chetan for Gizmo Times and you're watching a quick speed test comparison of two major chipsets. One of them might enter the Indian market very soon. So that's the reason why I'm doing this comparison. This is the MediaTek Demon City 1000 Plus on the Redmi K30 Ultra. Of course, we are sure the K30 Ultra might not be entering the Indian market, but then this comes with a chipset that might be coming into some of the smartphones. Uh, and so that is going to be compared with the Realme's uh, X3 that has the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Plus. So firstly, if we talk about the benchmark scores here, I'll show you the scores here so that you get an indication about what the chipset offers and what are the scores that have been uh, given to these devices. So it's almost close to each other, but there's certain difference with this. And uh, there's about 15,000 difference between the two phones where you see the CPU to be better in, in the MediaTek Diamond City 1000 Plus. And of course, with the GPU, there's not a huge difference. Again, it's almost the same 3000 difference between the two. And with the memory, uh, it's a, a difference. So we're not talking about the memory and UX here. That's because we are going to strictly talk about the chipset, the memory, of course, whatever the storage is and the RAM is that is going to be different in these devices. So what the devices would be when they enter the Indian market, that's different. So we'll first do the reboot test and show you uh, which one actually boots up faster. And before we do this, let me tell you two things. One is that uh, we are talking about a smartphone that is not in the Indian market. So this has a different version of MIUI and the optimization should be a bit different. And the second thing is we aren't sure at which price point would the MediaTek Demon City 1000 Plus would come in the Indian market. So if we are seeing uh, quite a lot of difference, we might also see it to be a bit unfair if we don't know about the price. This is only for one of the uh, recent, I mean, in the coming future, if at all the chipset enters in the market, you will get an idea whether this is good enough when you compare that with the Snapdragon uh, 855 Plus. So let's reboot this and let's go. So just to let you know, once again, we aren't talking about Redmi versus Realme here. Even Realme has the same chipset in its uh, uh, smartphone and it would come soon in the market. And uh, the Redmi also uh, also uh, will have the Snapdragon 855 Plus based smartphone. So of course we aren't comparing the smartphones. Remember that here the uh, Realme uh, X3 or the Snapdragon 855 Plus plus the Realme UI has started up quickly. Now let's go into the internet and check out. It's on the same network and we have the admin mode turned on. So we'll go with a few applications and see which one loads up faster. Firstly, starting with Facebook. It's almost the same on both of them. Now moving on to the next one, that's Twitter. Here I saw the Twitter app to actually load a bit faster on this one. Now moving on to the next one, that's Prime Video. It's almost the same. Now moving on to Netflix. Here it actually loaded up a bit faster on the uh, Dimensity 1000 Plus. Moving on to Android Benchmark. The same almost again. Now moving on to PUBG Mobile to see which one loads the game faster, which one. This is going to be a three time test. So not only one, this is going to be basically best of three. So the first time. So the first time it loaded up faster on the Redmi K30 Ultra that is with the Dimensity 1000 Plus. Now we'll go back to the home screens and we'll close that particular app. Only that everything else is still in the background. We're keeping that in the background to see if also the RAM is able to handle things well here. One, two, three, go. So once again, this is the second time and if at all the Redmi K30 Ultra open setup at First, again, then the test ends here. We would move on with the internet speed test. So once again, it was, this time it was a bit closer, but still the uh, Dimensity 1000 Plus loaded up the game faster. And now moving on to uh, the speed test comparison of the internet, basically to see if the modems are good enough, we would be using the same uh, server here to actually connect it to and uh, we'll test them out. So it's on the same act fibernet. So, and uh, we are using the same internet here. So let's now start the speed test on one of them to see 
what's the speeds and just to let you know i am using act 500 with 100 mbps so we'll have to see how much is being offered here and of course we have a few connected devices in the background and also the streams running outside for the cricket matches that are going on so internet speeds would again depend on that as well so now doing the same on this one that was 64.2 which was quite surprising and uh, we'll see if so there is some issue here So this seems a bit confusing. Let me test it again because the internet uh, loading speed actually was quite less on this one. We'll once again try it. Anyway, we do it a three time test. So let's see. And for sure, these speeds actually seem lesser. Again, it's an average of about 67.9 as the download speed. And we are almost at the same place. So we'll have to change the server and test it out once. So it's again around the 67.9, but at the same place with the same server being connected to this one has a faster connectivity rate so i guess this has to do with the modem of uh, the smartphone so with the chipset so that's one difference where the internet speeds don't seem really good at least for the download for upload there's no issue at all with the uploads if we go into the history of this one uh, into the results and the results of this one we have we could see that 93.4 93.5 there's 90 and 92 here as well not a huge difference there but with the download speeds there is for sure a lot of difference here and if we go into this and show you the uh, connectivity it's on excitel on both of them so there's no difference there so with the internet speeds at least you can see that there's uh, quite a bit instability with the uh, mediatek demon city 1000 plus here and with the gaming as well if we are into gaming and consider one of the phones for gaming what you see here is for games like pubg mobile which is quite important for many users uh, when you choose a flagship you need those perfect settings you have smooth and extreme on both of them which is quite the same and you don't see 90 fps on even the realme x3 and on 855 plus there is still that possibility this is the device we are talking about so there's no option there but 855 plus on the oneplus 70 does offer you the 90 fps option here you see the balanced and ultra you see balanced extreme hd extreme hdr extreme on the snapdragon 855 plus but you have hdr ultra here so 40 fps for hdr and 60 fps for smooth so that's the thing you see on the uh, redmi k30 ultra with the demon 3000 plus but on the other side it's uh, a bit better with the hdr extreme possible on the uh, realme x3 with the snapdragon 855 plus so i would say i i feel that we might not see the same similar price devices uh, on uh, in the market with these two chipsets so this is the 855 plus and we have seen only one or two phones in this price range in particular but otherwise the 855 plus has been on devices with more than 30,000 price range and on the other side we are yet to see any smartphone with the mediatek dimensity 1000 plus so we are uh, surely going to wait and see what would the pricing of uh, these smartphones be when they enter the indian market and finally if you want to check out the gaming performance of this particular smartphone you could go to the gaming josh channel where we do the gaming reviews but in hindi in case you're interested for the english videos you could stay tuned and we would surely do a gaming review of this smartphone as well in english and that would take some time so that's it guys this was all about the sweetest comparison of the realme x3 and the redmi k30 ultra with the snapdragon 855 plus and the mediatek dimensity 1000 plus chipset i hope you like this video if you do do share and subscribe to this time for more thanks for watching and see you in the next video